Hi guys, today I will today we will teach you about the how to export data inside the Excel framework <coughs> in ASP.NET. Uh, it is very easy actually using exporting data inside the Excel and Word and very useful inside your application and uh, our largest projects when required to uh, see inside the Excel format your report otherwise any data of the information any important information required to store inside the Word and Excel then you need to export data inside the Excel and Word so it is very simple some simple steps are there uh, I will just create one demo file new website is without an empty website just uh, change the name export excel slash word just click on the option ok just go to the solution store just right click and add new aspect page just waveform just click on the option ok now Just go to the design and uh, just toolbox and just open the data controls and just double click on grid view. I just create one grid view inside the my ASPX page. Suppose you are required to change auto format, it's also possible. Just select any format just like this. After that, just go to the option of the choose data source, just click on new data source. SQL database, just click on OK because I am directly with current architectures. We are using uh, current architecture for like that new connection. Server name, I just go to the SQL server and just copy the server name. Just right click on the page, property window, just copy the server name. Just copy and just paste inside this. Now select your database. My database name is SW97. Just click on test connections. OK, just click on OK option. Nice, nice. Uh, just select your table. So my table is uh, just like employee. Nice. Suppose you require test, just click on test button. Data is there. Just click on finish option, right? Okay. This is my database. After that, just save and just check out is working or not. Just run. Okay. Yeah, is there data is there? Now just cancel and just create two buttons inside the ASPX page. I'll just uh, insert the toolbox and just take on two buttons, image button, one and two. Uh, sorry, one. Okay. Space. Second. Now just save and. And export data video and just copy the two images. Copy. Just go to the solution explorer and just paste out. Okay. Now just go to the property and select the image URL. Just select your image. First is Excel, and second is what go to the properties and image url right ok so you required to change your button name then just go to the button option id and change the name like btn excel and another is btn world just go to the properties and change the name uh, btn world ok let's see just double click on excel button and just write some code in inside this uh, it is very simple coding like I will just uh, copy the coding which I have already coding created just copy response.clear and just paste inside the Excel button right response.clear and uh, response.buffer I was using a response because it is a ASP.NET and uh, it is working on HTTP protocols so now I am using response.clear after the response buffer option is true response.contain time my application and Excel format uh, we are using Excel format after that uh, after they just add header, 
uh, inside the response content disposition and string format attachments because I have a need to download this file and my file name is table record dot xls I have passed inside this file name is equal to zero and parameters are table record dot xls file because saving inside table record dot xls file right this one dot character set is blank this dot enable view state is false uh, system dot add we are using a string writer and just create the object of the string writer o string writer and uh, this is using an html text writer and inside the html text writer parameter we are passing the string writer inside this and uh, we are using uh, my control name is was my data inside the grid view one so grid view one dot render control and uh, which control just passing the html text data inside this right this one dot write and write the my all data inside the excel file and this one dot x now this is my excel format changes now just go to the word and just double click on word buttons and just uh, i'll copy because i have already coded inside this just copy and paste okay between word ga my control name is grid view one okay and we are using a string writer i am required to using string writer you need to add one library like uh, one minute using system dot io i already added uh, grid view one dot allow pegging false. Uh, pegging option is false. Grid view one dot data bind because uh, I have data. For example, hundred data are there. Then I'll set the after thirty is the next pegging. So you required to yeah, uh, you required to change uh, to false allow pegging. Grid view one dot data bind clear content after the response dot eight header and attachment with table record dot documents file character set content type was my word. So we are using a string same as a string writer. Estimate text writer, grid view one dot render control is a part of rendering. This one dot write, just write some all data inside the word file and this one dot add. Right. My two files are there. It's very simple. And uh, when I'm using uh, Excel format transfer uh, export inside the Excel in Word, you need to create one another method for a control. Just copy and just paste inside this. This is an event for a verifying rendering in server form. For the verifying in rendering in server form, you just override this method a uh, public override void verify rendering in server form and just pass the control inside this. And uh, but another process are there, just go to the default.asp option and just click on source and just give the says space and use enable event validation is false. Okay, done. Just save and just check out is working or not. It was very simple, just click on Excel option. Right, here yeah, option are there. Just click save as, and just save inside the desktop table record. Save. I already file this yes option, and another is Word. Just click and just save yes option, and uh, table record dot file. Just click on save option. Okay. Now just close and minimize and just check our table record options. Is there or not? Okay. Very very simple. Just double click on table record option and just click on yes. This is my data I have already exported and my next data was table records is a word format. Just check out inside the word format, the data also is there. So now it is very simple for using exporting data inside the Excel and Word and not a difficult actually just using some response headers and all of things and just override one method, verify server controls. And just go to the page directory and event validation you just apply the post right uh, so, so it's very easy so when required to use then use it okay uh, thank you